And then it shall be free. What's up, everybody? It's Young Cure with day 19 of the Metal Gear Solid 5 countdown retrospective. Hey, look at that! We are past the 20s and down to the 10s. For today's retrospective, I would like to look back to a Metal Gear Solid 5 leak that caused quite a stir at the time, although it didn't take long for it to be universally accepted as a fake. But before that, I'd like to rewind to February 22nd, 2012, when Hideo Kojima began hiring for the next MGS, which I talked about in day 21 of the countdown. Something that I forgot to mention is that alongside this image of Big Boss in the guise of Uncle Sam, Kojima also posted two other important images. The first image was an artwork of Big Boss alongside a Rhodesian Ridgeback, wearing a fatigue with some kind of emblem on his right shoulder sleeve. Now, the artwork wasn't very high resolution, so people couldn't read or make out the words and symbols of the emblem too well. But that same day, Hideo Kojima tweeted this photo showing a close-up of the emblem. The words read Diamond Dogs, and the emblem featured the image of a diamond in the background and a silhouette of a Rhodesian Ridgeback on the foreground. This was the first time ever that the Diamond Dogs emblem was made public during MGS5's development cycle. The emergence of Diamond Dogs would come to play a role in the leak that I'll be talking about today. It all started on July 14th, 2012. On that date, Cliff Blazinski, the man behind Gears of War, posted this tweet. Just got pulled into a back room at Comic-Con by Hideo Kojima and showed some crazy new secret stuff. Wow. A little bit later, Hideo Kojima tweeted this photo of him alongside Cliff, who had both likely come out of the secret presentation. Unsurprisingly, these two consecutive tweets generated a lot of buzz, getting people to wonder what was shown behind closed doors. Then, two days later, on July 16, 2012, four photos were uploaded to the web through NeoGAF and Reddit, showing what was allegedly presented behind the scenes. The first two images show different angles of a Metal Gear Solid 5 title logo, featuring the tagline, Open Ground Reconnaissance Endeavors at the top, and subtitles at the bottom that read, The moment we were cast out of heaven, we became monsters. Notice how the tagline is an acronym for Ogre. The third image shows a title card that says, A paradise is born of the bloodstained earth, and at the bottom are subtitles that read, Would she have wanted this? That doesn't matter now. Last but not least, the final image shows a logo of diamond dogs in the center, along with four words scattered throughout the screen, each with a letter missing. Zero, Galsberg, Renamo, and Enfant. Notice how the missing letters spell Ogre. Zero and Enfant are very clear references, but Galsberg and Renamo are a bit more subtle. Galsberg is a fictional region of South Africa in Metal Gear that resides on the southernmost tip of the African continent. 200 kilometers north of Galsberg is where Big Boss's Outer Heaven is created. Then we have Renamo, which is another name for the Mozambican National Resistance, which Frank Yeager was a part of during the Mozambican Civil War. I must admit that for its time, these were pretty good fakes. Hell, these fake leaks even nail some of the motifs found in Phantom Pain. The titles and logos in these images use the same red and white color scheme as Phantom Pain's title does. Some of the title cards and subtitles suggest that the game might tell the story of Big Boss's downfall and the rise of Outer Heaven. The words scattered throughout the screen allude to a lot of topics that Phantom Pain are likely to cover in its 1984 setting like Big Boss's rivalry with Zero, the establishment of Outer Heaven in South Africa, Frank Yeager, and the Les Enfants Terribles project. The drop of blood on the diamond suggests that blood diamonds will be a topic that the game will tackle, which turned out to be true in the case of Phantom Pain. And quotes like this go right in line with some of Phantom Pain's themes and dialogue. Cypher sent us to hell, but we're going even deeper. Take back everything that we've lost. Cause... I'm already a demon. It's actually pretty crazy how many connections this fake leak makes to the final game, and you've gotta love all the subtle hints at Metal Gear Solid 5 being Project Ogre, which also ended up being true. But there are various things that proved this leak to be fake. For one, just look at the photos. Blurry, low-quality images is what fake leaks look like. 
Next, the leak misspells Galsberg. Notice how it's missing a B here. It's highly unlikely that such a simple mistake would be made by Hideo Kojima, who was adamant about the little details. Then we have the Diamond Dogs logo. There is definitely something off about it if we compare it side by side to the official logo that would be released later, particularly the dog silhouette. Keep in mind that by this time, only two images of the Diamond Dogs logo had been released, the concept art featuring Snake and the Rhodesian Ridgeback, and the photo that Hideo Kojima posted, so it's highly likely that the leak's creator had to use the emblem on Kojima's photo and distort it to make it look like a flat image, which resulted in side effects. There is also the fact that the fonts don't match the visual template used for Ground Zeroes and Phantom Pain, and the fact that the 5 here is a number 5 rather than a V. And of course, the tagline for MGS5 ended up being Tactical Espionage Operations, not this other jargon. But what really sealed the deal was that Konami, Kojima, and company all responded to the leaks, clarifying that they are absolutely fake. It started out a little vague with this tweet from Konami UK on July 16th, the same date the photos leaked, which stated the following. Fake or real, we love a bit of speculation. Hashtag ogre, hashtag MGS5. But in hindsight, the fact that they were willing to comment on the leak at all already says that they are indeed fake. But then a few minutes later, Konami UK posted a more definitive tweet. Seriously, just in case the pinch salt hashtags weren't enough, the chap who claimed to have set up the fake rumors has been in touch. Kojima also took to Twitter to address the leaked photos, stating the following. Since I've received inquiries about the MGS5 title screen slash the announcement made at Comic-Con which I had no idea of, I looked up on the net and found the source. But please note that the title logo is completely fake. I apologize to those who were looking forward. Anyway, it proved I can still create the buzz. As if that wasn't enough, Ken Imaizumi, who was at the time producer at Kojima Productions, also posted a tweet addressing the fake photos, stating the following. I've been asked about the screenshots of MGS5 on the game sites. These are all fake. We'll update when we're ready to announce. And thus ended a short-lived hype. But I do remember being super excited when the fake leaks first began circling the web. And I also remember seeing a lot of people trying to analyze these images. But it didn't take long for them to notice irregularities about these images that pointed to them being completely fake. And then the tweets that followed from Konami, Ken, and Kojima pretty much sealed the deal. But still, I think this was an important phase in Metal Gear Solid 5's development. I think this was the first time when the hype for the next Metal Gear game really instantiated. And with that, I would like to end Day 19 of the Metal Gear Solid 5 Countdown Retrospective. Thank you for tuning in. What were your thoughts and theories of the fake images at the time? Let us know in the comments below, and to be further updated on the MGS5 Countdown Retrospective, stay tuned right here on Yong Yeah. I'll see you guys next time. Yong out.